Hello, I'm Sebastian Krause, Product Manager for Air Supply at MS Motor Service International. I'm here in our training room in Dormagen. And here I have a product that impressively shows the effort that has to be made to comply with the limit values of the exhaust gas laws. This valve is used in the latest generation V8 TDI engines by VHG. It is called a recirculation valve and it opens a connecting channel between two turbochargers when required, but more on that later. The complete designation in Audi's catalog is Module for Charge Air Recirculation GX37. In our motor service catalog, you will find it under the category Regulating Throttle. To increase efficiency, this motor uses register charging, that is to say, charging in two stages in a row. For this purpose, it is equipped with two conventional exhaust gas turbochargers plus an electrically driven compressor. Each individual cylinder has two exhaust valves from which two separate lines, shown here and here, run to the both turbochargers. In the low speed range, this electrical compressor supports starting. Incidentally, it is driven by 48 volts, so that the air here and here does not flow in a circle the bypass valve and this second regulating throttle must be closed. In this first stage only the active turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gases from the corresponding exhaust valves. When the active turbocharger has reached its operating point the electric compressor switches off. Both regulating throttles and the bypass flap around the electric compressor open. The engine is now running in monoturbo mode. From approximately 2200 revolutions per minute, the passive turbocharger is activated. To do this, our recirculation valve opens a connecting channel between the two turbochargers and directs charge air from the passive turbocharger in front of the compressor wheel of the active turbocharger. So to speak, the passive turbocharger blows the active turbocharger with additional charge air. At the same time, those exhaust valves whose exhaust gases power the passive turbocharger are now opened one after the other by adjusting the exhaust cam. This enables the passive turbocharger to accelerate without reducing the power for the active turbocharger. Above 2700 rpm, the engine runs completely in B turbo mode. This means the recirculation valve is closed, the passive turbocharger can build up boost pressure, the spring-loaded sequence valve is pressed open. The full power of both turbochargers is thus available to the engine. You can also read the most important information about this in our product information PI1883.